Welcome to Jesus and Me Clubhouse. I'm KC. I'm so glad you could join us today. Let's say our motto. Repeat after me. I will tell my friends. I will tell my friends. So they can know God. So they can know God. Here's something I know about God. God loves to give. Well, if that don't beat all, I've flown all over the city and I can't find a worm to eat anywhere. Worms? I guess birds like to eat worms, but not me. If I had a worm, I'd give it to you. Well, what am I going to do, Casey? I'm hungry. If I don't eat soon, I'm not going to have enough strength to fly. Well, let's pray, Polly. God doesn't want you to go hungry. How do you know? Maybe God doesn't like me flying so much. Don't be ridiculous. God made you a bird, and that's what birds do. They fly. Fly and eat worms. Let's pray and ask God for some worms for you to eat. Do you think God would give me some worms? Well, of course he would. God is a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver? What's that mean? Well, God loves to give to people, and he wants us to give to people too. The Bible says, give and it will be given to you. Well, I can be a cheerful giver. I just need some worms. Well, let's pray. Dear God, I know you love Polly and you want to bless her. God, she needs some worms to eat. Help her to find the worms you have for her. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I just thought of a place to go look for some worms. When I find some, I'll bring some for you and the kids. No, no, don't. We don't eat worms. I don't eat worms, do you? Hey, Casey, want to go fishing with me? I can't right now, Stacy. The kids are here for the club meeting. What you got in the bucket? Oh, I've been collecting worms to put on the hook. Fish like worms, you know. Yeah, so do birds. Hey, I wonder if she's the reason Polly couldn't find any worms around here. Casey, can I ask you a question? Well, sure, Stacy. What is it? Well, I've been thinking about giving away some of my toys. I have more than I can play with. And there's a girl down the street that doesn't have any toys at all. I thought I could see if she wanted them. Stacy, that's a great idea. You know, God loves a cheerful giver. Well, that settles it then. I'm going to do it right after I finish fishing. Oh, no. What's the matter? My worms. They're all gone. They were just here a few minutes ago. Now how am I going to go fishing? You could use cheese. Cheese is a good fish bait. Cheese? Huh. Mom, can you cut the cheese? Have you ever seen a seed before? Do you know what you're supposed to do with these? You dig a hole, you stick it in the ground, cover it back up, you water it, let the sunlight hit it, and eventually a plant grows that produces fruit. And inside all these fruits are more seeds. Then you can plant those seeds and then you can have a lot more fruit that you can share and give to other people. Which reminds me of our memory verse. Our memory verse today is 2 Corinthians 9, 7. God loves a cheerful giver. Can you say that with me? Say, God loves a cheerful giver. That reminds me. God himself is a cheerful giver. It's true. He loved us so much that he gave Jesus to die on the cross so that you and I could live a good life with God. When we pray and ask Jesus to come live in our hearts, we become sons and daughters of God. And God loves his children and wants to do good things for his children. And one of the things that he likes that we do is give to other people. Just like our memory verse, God loves a cheerful giver. And God also is a cheerful giver. Let's say our memory verse one more time. Say, God loves a cheerful giver. 
Great job. Let's get our hearts and minds ready for the Bible verse. Uh, you're still here? Of course I'm still here. Where did you think I would be? Stacy said she was going to go fishing with you. I can't go right now. I have the clubhouse to do. Okay, see ya. Hey, where do you think you're going? Fishing with Stacy. You have a Bible verse to learn. And a Bible story to listen to first. Uh, ixnay on the ishing fay. Um, what was that? That was Pig Latin. Next on the fishing. Today's Bible verse is 2 Corinthians 9 7. God loves a cheerful giver. Let's say it together, boys and girls. God loves a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. Ooh, I got this one. <clears throat> God shoves a cheap old river. Um, Ixnay on the Earth Bay. I got it wrong? Yeah. But isn't that why I can't go fishing? The river is cheap and old? No. Let's say it again, kids. God loves a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. So the river isn't cheap and old? No. Okay, 2 Corinthians 9-7. God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9-7. God loves a cheerful giver. Now can I go fishing? After the Bible story, you can. Now it's time for today's Bible story. Brain. Huh? Oh, I can't wait to hear it. And I can't wait to do it. It's the hearer. And the doer. Of God's word who's blessed. A great crowd of people followed Jesus because they saw him healing the sick. But they were hungry, and there was nothing for them to eat. The disciples didn't know what to do. Look at all these people. Where can we buy some food to feed them all? Lord, there's not a market around here for miles. There's over 5,000 men, not counting the women and children. <sighs> I'll go count the women and children. Lord. No one has any food, except a little boy. He gave us his lunch, but it's not enough to do any good. Not with all these people. What's in the lunch? Uh, five bread rolls, two fish. Maybe we should just send everyone home. Have everyone sit down. Everyone sit down! I could have done that. Father, thank you for this little boy's lunch. Use it to meet the need here today. Amen. Andrew, go get the other disciples to help you pass out the food. Food? What food? The lunch? Yes. Pass it around. You're the boss. I give up on counting the kids. They won't sit still. They're running everywhere. These kids are sitting very still. They're not running around. Oh yeah, for you they behave. Go help Andrew pass out the food to the people. We've got food? From where? I, I don't believe it. I mean, I, I do believe it. What I mean is, everyone ate until they were full, and now we have 12 baskets of leftovers, all from a little boy's lunch. Oh, and I saved you a plate of food. Where did we get all this food? Jesus? Uh, where'd Jesus go? I'm back with the worms, Casey! Just like I promised! Where'd you find the worms, Polly? They were all gathered together in a nice little bucket! It was a feast fit for a king! Anyway, I saved these for you! Uh, well, <laughs> you guys can share! See ya! Well, that's nice of Polly, but I don't like worms, and you don't need to eat worms either. But I do know what you need, and so does God. God wants to give you all of your needs. That's why he sent Jesus to die for our sins. God knew we needed Jesus in our hearts to help us live the way God wants us to. So if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, then let's pray together right now. Dear God. Dear God. 
Thanks for sending Jesus. Thanks for sending Jesus. To die for my sins. To die for my sins. Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Be the boss of my life. Be the boss of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Time for spiritual exercises. Everyone stand up on your feet. Here we go. You ready? Repeat after me. Stretch it up real high. I love the Lord with all my heart. Now show me your muscles. God is good all the time. I'm not afraid. God is with me. Good. Now show me your Superman pose. By Jesus stripes, I am healed. Nice work. Now these are my favorite. Kinky push-ups. Up, down, up, down. I love others like Jesus loves me. Whew, that was a good workout. All right, let's cool it down. Let's stretch it out. I obey my parents. For this pleases God. Woo! Good job, kids. Now, just shake it out. Shake it out. Turn around if you want. Woo! Good job, kids. I'm proud of you. Ho-ho-ho! <laughs> Casey, do you know what my favorite part of the clubhouse was today? Let me guess. You liked it when Polly gave me worms to eat. You ate worms? No. Polly gave me some worms for the kids and me to eat, but we don't like worms. I like worms. Gummy worms. <laughs> so what was your favorite part of the clubhouse? I liked it when that girl was doing pinky push-ups. She makes them look really easy. Fuzzy, she does pinky push-ups at every clubhouse meeting. She does? Yes, that's part of our spiritual exercise. We do spiritual exercise? Oh, brother. So what did you learn today? I learned that a gummy bear is a bear with no teeth. <laughs> Get it? Gummy? No teeth? That's not what we learned today, Fuzzy. We learned that God loves a happy giver. I've been putting my offering money in the camp. Machine. Fuzzy, when you give in the offering, you are giving to God. Jesus said it is more blessed to give than receive. So be happy when you give. I'm happy when I buy candy. <laughs> I'm happy when I buy candy too. But I'm happier when I give because I'm acting like God. And God loves to give to us. Like the time that little boy gave his lunch to Jesus. Jesus ate a little boy's lunch? No, he prayed over it and passed it out to his disciples to give to the crowd of people. They fed over 5,000 people that day from one little boy giving his lunch to Jesus. Oh, so when we give to God, other people get blessed. And you do too. God loves a cheerful giver, 2 Corinthians 9, 7. Can you say that, Fuzzy? God loves a cheerful giver, 2 Corinthians 9, 7. Very good. Say goodbye, Fuzzy. Goodbye, Fuzzy. Goodbye, kids. See you next time at the Jesus and Me Clubhouse.